In 2011, Steps made one of the most astonishing reunions in pop history, which led to a number one album and one of the fastest selling arena tours of the year. I don't think many people get this chance twice. There's a hell of a lot to do, so yeah, we've got a mountain to climb yet. But when the tour starts, will they be able to keep their demons under control? I can't do it because I'm just going to go upset. I'm going back to a situation where the last time I was in it, mm. I was miserable. So how's that different now? Claire knows that she would be letting the side down if she didn't come to the party and do the work. I think if somebody wants to damage that, you know, it's on their head at the end of the day. Mm. The whole world looks at it this time. I just don't know why they won't leave me alone. With only 10 weeks to prepare for their most important tour ever. I'm still confused. Millions of pounds at stake. Really it. And 150,000 fans who can't be disappointed. Can they keep the band together to face the biggest challenge of their careers 10 years after it all went wrong? It's probably more no than yes to me. I feel so sad for everybody who's put their energy and time into it. If we can't, we leave it now. This is Steps on the Road Again. Oh. Ten years after they split, 90s pop group Steps reunited and found fame once more. Now they're going back on the road again. It's like, shit, we're doing it. No, this is it. This is real. 150,000 tickets have been sold across 20 UK arenas, and in just nine days, the first date of their ultimate tour will be upon them. This is what we all hoped would happen, and now it's nearly here. In preparation, Steps have spent the last two months on a strenuous rehearsal treadmill. They've desperately tried to juggle their families with work commitments, and it's not been easy. Everyone's making massive sacrifices to do this. Faye, Claire and Lisa have struggled daily with the idea of being away from their young children, and it's created tension within the band. Then, when the subject of Steps' future after the tour was brought up, Lisa, Claire and H dropped a bombshell. And my family have to come first. But do you know what? I've, really I've actually tough. stopped having a family because yeah. of Steps. It's a really tough thing to be in Steps right now. Yeah, totally. And I was really afraid of this happening. Can we make this work? At the moment, it's probably more no than yes to me, I'd say. Despite the band being clearly divided, they put thoughts of a future beyond the tour aside. Do you know what, guys? I, I think we've got a hell of a lot to think about, yeah. and I think this is the point. Oh, we're going to have a great time on tour. I really think we need to enjoy it because ultimately, it, be the last time. it could be the last time. And I think, you know, it will, at the very, very least, it will be a great ending to I'll happy end. I just want us to enjoy this tour more mm. than anything. That's it. Well, let's enjoy it then. And go out on top again. <laughs> Steps are at a crossroads and we don't quite know which path to take. At the moment, I want to say goodbye. I assumed everyone was on the same page and wanted to go forward with new music. I'm very worried about how it's going to affect my kids and my husband. I really, really have doubts, if I'm honest. If there is a way for the girls to make it work and be happy and still see their children, then fantastic, but wait and see. With their opening show in Belfast imminent, they decide to look to the present. I can't believe we're only a week away from <laughs> being on tour <laughs> for the first time in 10 years. It's unbelievable. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. And I just want to say bloody cheers to us because we've yeah. done really Great well. Day, guys. Do you know what this Fantastic is? Day. The calm before the storm. <laughs> <laughs> Eight
eight days to go and rehearsals are well underway. But this morning the band woke up to a national newspaper headline that's added to the pressure. It claims that Claire is not physically fit enough for the tour. There was a story about me saying that everybody was worried that I'm too big to be able to do the show. To make matters worse, the band have agreed to a press junket to promote the tour and all the journalists will have picked up on this morning's headline. Obviously, you know, there was this thing in the paper that the worry that you were not going to be ready by sort of, you know, um, the Belfast show. Obviously, to do, do with sort of your, you know, your weight and... and do you know what? Things. I'm not even going to answer that question because it's right. a complete load of bollocks, oh, quite fine. frankly. With Claire refusing to be drawn on the direct question about her weight, the journalist tries another tactic. How do you all sort of prepare for this? What, what are your sort of individual sort of, you know, fitness regimes and, and vocal regimes? Uh, well, for me, to be honest with you, fitness, I, I didn't need to really prepare that much because I kickbox a lot, I, I train people a lot. My, my cardio, I know now, needs to go up, but I think I'm gradually building it up within rehearsals, really. Lisa, how, how about you? What, what's kind of been your build-up to? It's the first time I've gone back to the gym since having both my children. It's not about weight, it's just about being able to carry those songs that we did all so easily ten years ago. Yeah. Claire, kind of how, how about with you? You're doing well, though. I know, yeah. I, don't want to, I don't want to draw attention to myself in this section of things. Okay. I don't really need to right, Sorry. Right. Yes, I'm not a size 10. No, I'm, you know, I don't go to the gym every day, but I don't think it affects how well I'm going to do my job. It's made me a little bit paranoid now because now I just feel, feel like everybody's watching me to see if there is a problem and whether I can do it. And I feel like every time I mess up, that it, they're going to think it's because I'm not fit enough to do it. She's doing exactly the same as everybody else. She's working just as hard and she's doing a fab job and we don't care, so why should anybody else? It's a new day and despite the negative press surrounding her weight, Claire has decided to ignore critics and fulfil a commitment she's made to host a morning TV show segment. She's fronting Lorraine's Cake Club. Shall I whisk while you Yeah, pull? you whisk while Oh, pull. goody. See, Sugar. we're working out while we're making cakes, I know, Claire. perfect. <laughs> but before long, the recurring issue rears its ugly head once again. <laughs> so, you've had a little bit of stick in the press, actually, about doing this cake club for us. Yeah, apparently it's not a good idea. <laughs> for me to be hosting a cake club because clearly I'm going to eat everything. <laughs> it's starting to really get on my nerves now. I'm getting a little bit angry about it because I just don't know why they won't leave me alone. It's essential Claire doesn't miss any rehearsals, so she makes a dash to the studios to join the rest of the band for the 9am start. Negative attention has taken its toll and she's struggling to focus. So she pulls Stephen aside for a private chat. The first story, where it, the basic, where they brought it up saying that I'm, everyone's worried because yeah. I'm struggling. Oh, you're not keeping and, up. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping That's up right. We're they're worried up. that yeah. the tour's going to yeah. suffer. Yeah. Well, let them see. Let them see. No, you know. It's a, oh, it's just one of them was really pushy. Well, you probably then feel self-conscious. Well, I, I did yeah. after that, and yeah. I worried. I just thought everyone's going to be looking at me now to see if I am. You're on it as, as much as the others, you know. And, and, you know, with all that's going on, no, one, no one's going to be studying it. But that's, that's the press, you know. Some of them, they'll just want to goad it to try and get a reaction. But, I know, it's you know. really hard not to react, though, yeah. because it's insulting, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's not very nice. I, just, I, I really hope that's the end of it. I'm expecting, after the first night, I'm expecting mm, mm. to get some stick. Yeah. Well, let's see. You know, for me, the, the, the proof is, is not what the critics say anyway. It's all about what, what yeah, the, it's all the about audience reacts. Like, like, we've never, you know. ever been a, a pay, paper pleaser. Yeah. And they've been proved wrong time and time again, and hopefully yeah. this time will be the same.
coming up. Things go from bad to worse for Claire. Maybe for the first show, we, we drop your solo. And as opening night looms, everything comes crashing down. Oh my God, we have lots of gas. Watch out, guys. This was the last thing we needed. Will Steps be ready for the biggest show of their lives? Steps are just six days away from one of the most ambitious tours they've ever done. Dance rehearsals have been getting more and more relentless, but now they've left the dance studio behind. It's time for the last stage of production, and that's happening at London's famous Shepperton Studios. This is where the show has to start coming together. In a way, I, I think this week is probably more stressful than actually the tour. It starts here, big time. It's going to be really tough. I'm worried, properly worried, for the first time. This is it now. When we leave here, we're in a venue and there will be an audience there. And I don't think my brain is quite connected to that. Their specially built stage has been constructed and the band are seeing it for the very first time. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? There it is, right there. That's the stage. Welcome. Wow! Oh, oh my God. Oh, we're going to be on that! <laughs> What's this they say? And now will be the moment they've waited for. Those screens are going to open. The opening to their ultimate tour. OK, I think I'm going to show you something which I think is incredible and I'm sure you're going to like. So let's take a bit of a step back. Shut up! Have a little start of your show. It's a big moment for the band as they suddenly realise just what is expected of them. In just six days' time, they will perform at Belfast in front of 11,000 fans. To have any hope of a smooth opening night, this final week of preparations has to iron out any problems. But as they step on the stage to rehearse, it's clear there's a problem with Claire's voice. I'd hold you in Because I was ill about three weeks ago now, had the flu, and it's still not right. Vocally, I don't feel that I could get through a whole show on Monday at the moment. And I am worried about it, and I'm annoyed about it as well, because, you know, we've been preparing for this for months, and it should have been okay, and it's not. Claire is still struggling um, with her voice. She sang um, a lot of her solo number and her voice is breaking at the top because it's so tired and obviously strained at the moment. And Stephen is so concerned about her that he's called out an emergency doctor. It's not good news. Claire has been diagnosed with bronchitis, a respiratory infection that restricts airflow to the lungs. With six days to go, she may not be well enough to get through the first show. Just, you know, I mean, obviously, just rest your voice. Don't sing through the rehearsals. Yeah, I'm really worried, though, because I'm just worried at what stage I'm going to be at. Yeah, I think to the, the key is to... just resting it now for the next uh, sort of, um, say, three or four days. And then, and then we'll take I haven't, I haven't sung my solo so that, through, yeah. and I haven't recorded a vocal for my solo either. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, the worst case scenario, vocally, I think, I think, um, I, I can't even contemplate, you know, if, if your voice doesn't come back. But I think it's something we, we, we visit, you know, on, on, on Tuesday. 
you know, we make, make a decision there. May, maybe for the first show, we, we drop your solo, at very worst. <laughs> maybe, but we'll see. You know, it, it's still a, um, over a week away. It's a monumental setback, and Stephen is forced to consider the worst case scenario. I, I couldn't contemplate now or, or give an answer as to what would happen if her voice totally went. That, that would just be catastrophic. Um, you know, it, it doesn't bear thinking about, you know, you, you go from the extreme of having to cancel shows which you take insurance policies out for, uh, which, which just would be the absolute, absolute last resort. Um, but I, I, I couldn't even stare down that, that particular barrel at the moment. I'm still really worried about my solo because I don't, um, I haven't recorded a backup. And, yeah, my voice isn't where I would like it to be. I can feel it constantly. And I don't know if I'm just mentally making it like that now because I'm panicking. What I really need is rest and sleep, and I've got no chance of that. There's nothing anyone can do but wait and hope that Claire can make a full recovery. In the meantime, Stephen creates a welcome diversion by presenting them to the long-awaited tour bus in which the band and their children will spend most of their days travelling from city to city. I'll be honest, we used to buses with beds, we used to buses with couches, we used to buses with yeah. fridges oh, and kitchenettes and they're the only buses we've ever been on. I've never been on a bus like this for a tour. We've always been on the bigger buses, yeah. haven't we, with the sleepers and that. Yeah. So this is the first time we're experiencing, I think, I will call this a coach, rather than a sleeper. We've not decided on this and, and not the... We never did. Because like, didn't we... We're still looking at it now, we can say no. Didn't, weren't we doing anything? I don't like that. Let's go downstairs. I assume that's going to be a fridge. Yeah, that's the fridge. We need to get... I mean, we should bring a... Um, oh my God, that's disgusting. Oh, that would be funny, but... Surely, if you had somebody come in to look at a new bus, you'd clean the loo. Yeah, look, let's discuss. First impressions, I'm not that impressed. I think we've been, uh, the, the buses that we've had previously have been a lot more modern. Tour manager Martin checks up on Claire and Faye to make sure they're happy. What are you doing? Nothing. We're just checking out the toilet. Yeah. It needs to be cleaned. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, have you seen it? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's only just them in. Yes, but they could have flushed the toilet. Oh. I don't mind things being a bit, maybe not the most modern, but if it's clean, as long as it's clean, um, I don't feel so bad. But it was absolutely. It's not it even wasn't ready for us to view. Not clean. It wasn't ready for us to view. Even the bit around the sink where it's all scuzzy and yeah. the toilet's not. I don't know if we're 100% happy with it. We thought there'd be a little bit more space, a little bit more legroom, let's say. It very much is a coach. When the children come on board, it'd be nice to have a bit that's cordoned off, away from the children. We've just plodded along, expecting everything just to be how we imagine it, and when it's not, it causes a problem. It's just, it, yeah, it's not what I thought it was going to be. And I think, I think we're just trying to see what we can do to rectify it. The band have rejected the tour bus and requested a new one to be delivered as soon as possible. They've given a detailed list of demands to Stephen. We need to find a replacement uh, vehicle, uh, but to a very specialised specification, and that's proving rather challenging. What they want will, you know, you know, shoot a, a hole in our budget for sure. So, um, but that that's that's ongoing situation. Coming up. The first show looms, but rehearsals are in chaos. At this point, I can't see how it is all going to come together. I think tonight is going to be close to a car crash. Just, just fixing it. 11,000 fans are expecting the show of a lifetime, but can they deliver? It's starting to feel even more and more are sick as the minutes go by. Okay. <laughs> Shit, everyone.
In three days' time, Steps will kick off their 20-date tour, their most ambitious show yet, at the Odyssey Arena in Belfast. They've arrived at Shepperton Studios for the final rehearsal stage, but the list of major problems are mounting up. Claire's been diagnosed with bronchitis, and it's uncertain she'll be able to perform. Vocally, I don't feel that I could get through a whole show on Monday. Maybe for the first show, we, we drop your solo. And the band have rejected the tour bus. This is the first time we're experiencing, I think, I will call this a coach. Oh my God, that's disgusting. What they want will, you know, you know shoot a, a hole in our budget for sure. The band are working day and night to nail an hour and 45 minute show with six costume changes, stage lifts and chambers, and numerous special effects. It's draining, so you've got to look after yourself and you've got to eat well, you've got to sleep well, and I'm finding that really hard, I, I will admit. But they haven't got through one number without problems. The most ambitious number is Better the Devil You Know, where creative director Gareth has arranged for the band to perform highly dangerous fire stunts. Today is the first time they'll practice using the live fire on stage. Careful, the lift is still coming up, please be mindful. But problems with the stage lift mean that not all the fire props are lit in time. Still go even if we're late, still go, don't worry. Still go even if we're late. It wasn't perfect, but we don't have the, um, the apparatus is not completely perfect at the moment, hence why the lift was slightly late. So well I think it would have been fine. No, I just had proper, not panic, but it's, I think it's just an adrenaline rush. Yeah. yeah, because my brain goes, you shouldn't be throwing fire around your head. When we do it again, it should be on bang on time. Determined to make it work, they go for a second run through. Let's go with music, please. Stand by. Do I have colour? But before they even start, disaster strikes. <laughs> Oh my god, we have lots of gas, watch out guys. That stinks of gas guys, it's not right. One of the gas canisters for the fire props is leaking. You know when you smell gas, it wasn't just a little bit, it was full on and I just thought, this is, this is dangerous, you know. So um, yeah, we've managed to evacuate the whole set, as you can see. The crew, everybody's just hanging around waiting for it to get the all clear so that we can continue rehearsing. It's scary. An hour later, the studio has been made safe and the crew reset, but time is running out fast. Gareth has no choice but to scale down his ambitious plans. I am at the moment furious. That's all I can say, really. That should, what just happened should never happen. Um, but we've dealt with it. They've had to um, just ditch it. We're not going to have live flame at the end of the um, performance on the um, Judah section um, because we're playing with live flame ourselves. So I think we're going to just have to cut that because it's just too dangerous. Glad we found out now. <laughs> Today has been the mother of all days. Anything that could go wrong has gone wrong. I feel badly let down. There's absolutely no way as, uh, that I, if you like, as the um, sort of CEO of, of this company can, can allow for there to be any health or safety issue whatsoever. This was the last thing we needed. Yeah. With a break in rehearsals, Lee and Faye check out the replacement tour bus Stephen has arranged. Oh, Press, God, the, much wider, Press the light. Is it the light itself? Yeah, it is. Oh, look. Get your elbows in as well. Very cool. Like the blue lights. Yeah. Then you have your iPad, your phone, your everything. Wicked. You can have a little bee in there. And then you? your little baby. There too. As they are the members of the band that are keenest to continue in steps after the tour, the luxury of the bus sparks a hope. To get on the other bus that we saw, as lovely as it was, it wasn't quite right. And I think that could start to cause problems and friction and things like that because you're getting onto something that you're not happy with. So you can't relax and you can't chill out. I think only like pop stars or big shows, you know, end up having wonderful tour buses like this. You know, there's no, no other job that I can think of that can live on a bus like this for a month. And I just hope that, you know, maybe some of the other guys see that, you know, having a taste of this 
people want to spur them on to do some more stuff. It's just such a massive opportunity. I think we'd just be absolutely stupid to give this all up because you don't think that taking a risk will work. I'd rather take the risk and it doesn't work. For me, I'd rather take the risk and it doesn't work than not take the risk and not know. Mm. It's the last day of production rehearsals. Costumes are furiously being finished. Tomorrow the entire stage will be shipped to Belfast and the band will fly over to perform their opening show. Okay, the timings and technical issues have meant that they have yet to do a full dress run. At this point, I can't see how it is all going to come together. Lisa? Um, can I um, not do that, the last bit of uh, the call? I just need to sing that bit. With only two days to go until their first show, Lisa pulls Stephen aside. No, you, you seem like a little bit worried. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just concerned that I, I just really want it to be a fantastic show and I want it to be the best show that we've ever done. And I, I'm just a bit, you know, unsure and a bit wobbly because I don't want the fans to, to be disappointed. We open in two days and, yeah. and we haven't yeah. had one run through yet. Yeah. Yeah. Look, no, it, it is. We, we knew all along it, it, it was an ambitious project. Yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I, I can't answer you. I, yeah. I think we have bitten off a hell of a lot. I, yeah. I really do think. I, I, privately, I'm, I'm a tiny bit worried it might just be too much. Yeah. Right now, I, 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 I'm, I'll be honest and I'll say to the others, I, I am worried. Yeah. I am worried, but I, I, I know and I think I'm, we'll probably feel even worse in a few hours' time when more has gone wrong. But <laughs> yeah. we need it to go wrong so we can get it right. It's the end of the final day of rehearsals, and friends and family have been invited to the studios to watch a run-through. But the constant setbacks have meant that this will be the first and last dress rehearsal before Belfast. I think tonight, uh, which will be our first full run-through, I actually think is going to be close to a car crash. Right now, I honestly don't feel like we're going to be ready in time. Um, I'm kind of really, I'm almost dreading the dress for as the band and the crew prepare, it's an emotional time for Lisa. She is finally reunited with her family, who have just flown in from Dubai. Hello. Am I coming home? Oh, my darling. Oh, Mummy's got work, haven't she? But you're here now. You come to see me? Yeah, I'm to see you. want to see my show? You can. Mummy's going to do it in a minute. Are you going to watch me singing and dancing? Can I have a kiss? I'm going to Uncle H in there. Uncle H in there, yes, my darling. Oh, Star, you're so sweet. Oh, my baby. It's probably about quarter to eight now in the evening. And um, everyone's really tired and fraught. And it's been a bit of a testing afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. I've got not enough hours in the day. And um, it's like you want everything done yesterday and it's not. And I, for one, feel quite tense about that. With the added pressure of friends and family looking on, nerves are rife. The idea for their big entrance is that the band have been cryogenically frozen in capsules for the last 10 years. These chambers will then pop up from underneath the stage to perform their first track, Here and Now. But at the very first hurdle, things start to go wrong. The cryogenic chambers malfunction. Despite the setback, they push on. And before long, delays with the stage lift get in the way. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. It only makes it halfway up. Um, just, just fixing it. And to make matters worse, the big screen has teething problems too. What's happened to the screen, please, somebody? Can it be sorted? There's no option to stop the run, 
the show must go on. Next up, it's Lee's solo performance. A couple of technical problems, always seems to be on my solo. So I still don't know how long I've got to get changed because it hasn't gone right yet. Finally, they reach the end of the dress run. Thank you so much! Woo! And the audience gives them encouraging applause. Did you like it? You fun. I saw you the whole time. Did you like it? What did you think? Did you think, is that really my mummy up there? Did you? For me, it's just, I, I, I want to perform like it's the last time we're going to perform. And obviously, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping it's not, but... I think that's just what was in my mind when I was performing. I just wanted to give it my all and when we go on tour, I want every show to be the best show that, that we can do. But it's clear that the show just isn't ready. So opening night looms, um, I'm expecting it to be good. I, 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 I'm doping it will be. I hate to say it, I don't think we're going to be 100% ready. Going to be on Monday in Belfast. A scary time. Coming up, as the band make their way to their first UK arena, expectations are sky high. The fans have been waiting 10 years for the ultimate tour. <coughs> I feel like I just need to cough. I never have been so nervous in my life. But can they pull it off? Right, guys, here we go. Deep breath. The time has come for Steps to give their fans what they've waited 10 years for. For months they've trained and rehearsed, but practice is over, and tonight the band will perform at Belfast's Odyssey Arena to 11,000 fans. Having rehearsed until the last possible day, Lisa, Claire, Faye and Lee have all arrived at Heathrow Airport for an early morning flight. H is travelling separately from his home in North Wales. My stomach started to do a little bit of a blurp this morning on the way here. Plus I'm not looking forward to saying goodbye to these two and Reese. This is the moment they all have to leave their families behind. For Claire, it's proving extremely difficult. The band have a huge day ahead of them. Tonight, they will have to perform live in front of thousands. Over in Belfast, die-hard fans have been waiting for the band to arrive since first thing this morning. For them, it's a momentous occasion. We've been waiting like 10 odd years for this, this day and it's just been amazing and like, I can't believe today is the day. To be honest, I think I'm, the way I feel right now, I'm just so happy that I actually think I, I'm actually at the minute it's gonna, I'm actually going to stop crying. I just, that's how much they like could be, they mean to me. I'm totally excited, big time. Right, guys, we're off. Right, guys, the band weren't expecting any kind of welcome party, but they've spotted the fans. It feels like the old days. It's really, really with such a warm welcome, steps are overwhelmed. Well, a lovely reaction, great welcome to them, and they recognise some of these uh, fans from way back. I kind of want to get going now because we've got to get to the hotel to check in and then get onto the arena for the sound check. But obviously I don't want to disappoint any of the people here. They've been waiting 10 years for this and hopefully we're going to give them tonight a great show and it's been worth the wait.
and the fans aren't the only ones who are feeling emotional. I don't, I don't know how we're going to get through this first show oh, without don't. falling our eyes out I and don't. making a right mess of our faces. I'm really worried. It's not cool. I want, it, I want to be able to hold it together with my eyelashes firmly intact. Yeah. But I'm not going to be able to look at you when, we I, do, when, I, say goodbye, no. when I say goodbye. I'm not no. going to be able to look at you in one for sorrow. No. So I'm not blanking you. <laughs> no, darling, I know. I was going to say. But the I'm same just going to try and be able to sing. Yes, yeah, let's just not look let's at each other. Let's do a really at all. great live vocal and yeah. then we can we'll have, have a little cry at the end. Yeah. I might not even be able to talk to any of you before we go on. Let's not forget, tonight is a huge night in music. Oh yes, steps are back. It's the first night of the big reunion show and they've chosen a brilliant place to come and start things off. The party will be happening at the Odyssey Arena this evening. Starts you call it in that you're attending. It's 12 noon. The band have a hectic schedule ahead of them and time is marching on. Here we go. Oh, look. 12 years ago, 7,000 screaming fans were there to watch Steps play at the opening of Belfast's brand new Odyssey Arena. Now, after a chaotic rehearsal period, they are performing there again. It's amazing to think, though, that we've actually managed to sell and fill all of these seats. Everybody is going to be sitting here, right here, in these seats, and they want to be here. It's, that's, you know, that's when you kind of feel really humble about it, and you think, oh, it's just little old me and my little gang. But despite all the excitement, behind the scenes there have been unforeseen delays. We're running really behind. Um, this should have been up, ready. The dancers should have been on having their rehearsal. The group should be sound checking now and they're not. And they reckon it's at least another hour, hour and a half before we can get the stage together. Uh, which is worrying. I hope the stage is going to be ready. <laughs> Are we meant to be doing sound check now? God. I believe we're here. I feel a bit, I don't know how I feel, I feel a bit, not numb, but a bit, like, it's all just a bit weird. Those waves for me, yeah. start feeling yeah. okay and then I can have a wave of them butterflies yeah. and then, yeah. I just can't wait to see the Serena full. Added to the list of worries is Claire's bronchitis. Although she's not fully recovered, she's decided to try and sing the whole show live, including her solo number. I'm steaming my throat, which I shouldn't really be talking through. You need your badge. <laughs> yes, I am on voice rest. The time now is uh, quarter to five. Um, all gates, the doors open, I think, at, at seven. Uh, we're staged, our on stage time is 8.30, so um, not a lot of time. Um, dancers need to do a run through. The group need to do uh, a sound check for, for, for themselves and, and for the sound team here. Um, and there's no, certainly for the next hour, no one's going on that stage until it's constructed. So, yeah, it's worrying. With the stage still being built, the band have to go on with only time to sound check one song. streaming into the arena. <laughs> In the dressing room, all that's left to do is put the finishing touches to hair and makeup. I'm starting to feel even more and more sick as the minutes go by. Are we on time though? We got there with the stage, I'm delighted to say. Um, it's, yeah. 20 minutes, it's just weird, sort of after eight or nine months of uh, perspiration and inspiration and everything else, we're, we're almost there. 
but Claire's voice is still giving her cause for concern. <coughs> I feel like I just need to cough. I never have been so nervous in my life. I haven't seen you this nervous. Keep breathing. Honestly. Oh, God. And I'll just be sitting there hoping and praying that it, it, it gives them all that they want and, and hopefully as a springboard for a lot more. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this is actually really it. I feel like I'm actually a bit pretty. I'm you can see people The last time Steps were on a stage like this was the day H and Claire announced they were leaving. Now, over ten years later, they have their chance to bury old memories. Shit in hell. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. It's going to be amazing. Oh, my God. I can't actually believe this is it. Steps fans are awaiting the ultimate show, but can they deliver? Right, guys, here we go. Keep breath. Can't say anything nice or sound. Next time on Steps on the Road Again. The band attempt to pull it out of the bag for the opening show. Had some problem. But have they bitten off more than they can chew? We have left it too late. We're really yep. quite crossed about it. So but if they the can't dancers, start yeah, but with let me just finish. Thing. Worst case scenario is we have to cancel the show. As the ultimate tour races on, the elements are against them. Right now, we don't know if no. we've actually got a show tonight. No. And emotions run high as they return to the arena where it all ended ten years ago. You don't ever regain complete trust. It does bring it back. It is still painful. I can't say that I regret something when I don't. pair of killers working in tandem give the BAU the runaround next tonight on Sky Living HD with Criminal Minds. Catch up on the explosive action from Hawaii 5 over on Sky 2, whilst Morgan Spurlock presents a brand new Britannia over on Sky Atlantic HD. Tough choice.